Hang on. It's now giving me the ability to sprint. <gasps> okay, hello. Welcome back to another one of my videos. It's going to be a three scary games video today. And the first one is going to be a demo for a full game. So we'll have to see if it's good and I'll uh, look out for the full game. It's called Lying Souls. Uh, don't know what it's about. Just looks like a little kid's play area. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments which one your favourite game was. Like the video if you enjoy any of the games I play and subscribe if you're new. So there's going to be two chapters. We have access to the demo. Hello, dear player. Thank you for playing the demo to our game, Lying Souls. The demo gives you a rough idea of what to expect in the full version. You'll find a few hints about the story. If you have any questions or feedback, contact us on the website or join our Discord. Have fun, and we hope to see you again in the full version. Troxy Studios. Okay. What we got here, like a plastic, like set of plastic cuffs and a briefcase. Same thing, but then with oh, with a kid's toy. I can't pick up those things. Oh no. isn't it? Just a trippy-ass demo. Okay. Where are we? Is it a hospital? Okay. I'm digging it. Oh, Lying Souls. In Den Kinos, December 2023. I mean, this is the demo for Dying Souls 1. They're ambitious. Okay. Ah, this wasn't open before. Very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. I mean, it's one thing hinting at what the game's going to be, and it's another just a, oh, it's different. But it's so different. Okay, let's go here first. What's in here? Um, sure. Don't know what is going on. Okay, I got a key card. Decent. So the na what's the word? Native language for this game, I don't think is English. Based on like the language on the poster, what's this? That's probably easy for you to read. Uh, Red Stack Security, patient 35, monitoring protocol, confidential, so the patient, so these are different times, 7 o'clock, patient is awakened, the redacted music plays, 8.30, breakfast and redacted is provided, 9 o'clock, the television is turned on, broadcast is redacted, information program for redacted, 10.30, multimedia activities are now allowed, patient would like to watch a movie, 12, lunch is provided, patient declines to eat, monitoring room is changed to redacted because of redacted, patient begins talking to himself, recordings are ready in tray 27. One o'clock, the redactor's turned off. Four past one, patient uses the restroom. Patient sent still. Television is deactivated. Patient is sent for further examination. Redacted patient is sent to bed. <gasps> oh, shit. This... Why are you going to fucking make me jump like that? They were watching someone in that room. That's really creepy. That's really creepy in here, right? Whoa. Wow, 
One, two. Two, one. I'm locked in. Shit. Am I being watched? Hey, yo. Let me out. It's different. That's the same. Now there's only one chair. again the observation room very creepy if, if that's all it's going to hint at then is that there's this observation room i would be intrigued by the game i was hoping the demo would show me a bit more than it did but let me know in the comments if, if it's intrigued you enough that you'd want to see me play the full game i'm happy to um yeah just let me know so i think that will be the extent of it yeah lying souls demo can't say too much about it because it didn't really showcase much, but yeah, the, yeah, the fact that they were watching someone in an observation room could be creepy. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll keep an eye out for it. Let's move on to the next game. Okay, this next game is called Tornuk 2. Don't know what that word means. I think this is a Christmas-themed one, so you have to excuse me, but it is what it is. Late one winter, polar night. You find yourself unable to sleep, awoken with a strange, uneasy feeling. With your mother fast asleep, you decide to move to the living room. With not much to do, you start reading an old book you found at the town bookstore earlier that day. Yes, I picked the game because it was pixely style. I'm a little person. A child. Read the book. Let's read it. Tornuk 2. The Tornuk 2 is an evil creature originating from Alaskan folklore. Its physical form is described as having both human and reindeer characteristics. It has the head of a reindeer but with human teeth, which wrap around its entire face. It has the body of a man but with hooves for feet. Its skin is pale white but is covered in black fur and it has eyes that glow in the night. It is said to be especially tall when on its hind legs and capable of walking like a human. However, it is also capable of galloping like a deer and can travel at high speeds in an almost floating manner. Well, I don't want to turn around. I'm just going to hide in the fucking fireplace. Why can I go in the fireplace is my next question. Right, am I going back to bed? I can't go in. Mum? Mama? Mummy? Mum? Fridge. Noisy fridge. Not sure where I'm meant to go. Can I leave? No. Okay, I think I've gone everywhere now. down the chimney. I don't want to go in there. Can I read more? I can. Polar night, the Tornuk 2 is said to only be seen in the months of November through January. During these months, Alaska experiences a time of darkness, also known as Polar Night where the sun ceases to rise. It is believed the Tornik 2 is unable to attack outside of these months due to a weakness to the sun. Once the polar night starts, the Tornik 2 is said to be starving and will begin to its hunt invading people's homes and eating them. 
It's believed that the Tornix who targets those get off me, who build their homes far from others in secluded places. Thus, to be safe from an attack, people should live closely to one another. That is wise. So do I need to do another lap of the house now before something else happens? Mama! Mum! In shit parent, mate. What am I meant to do? Oh, is that the back door? Oh, it is. I can do some more reading now. Why would we have built a snowman to just stare at our back door? That is incredibly creepy. Let's read more. I feel safe when I'm reading. A sign Tornik to is near is finding snowmen like figures, which are said to have faces of the dead and smell like human corpses. It is believed such figures will surround a house before the Tornik to attacks. Another sign it might be near. Is excessive feeling of fear or distress with no direct cause. That's me right now, mummy. Why are you sleeping through this time? So to trigger the next event, I seem to just go in. Oh, it's loud. It, it really wants me to read. I, s I hear breathing. I hear it breathing in the chimney. Sign Tornix who's near is finding snowmen like figures. Hello? Tornix also carries a bag made of fur, which is used, which it uses to steal children from the house it attacks. I'll just put me in it then. It is unknown where the children go when they're taken. Some say the Tornix who eats their soul to attain immortality. Others that it keeps them to eat throughout the rest of the year. Just put me in your bag then. Put me out of my misery. Because my mum obviously doesn't give a shit about me. Sound a bit manly, but mum. Oh, the blood. Shouldn't have been fucking sleeping then, should you? Oh, my God. It's believed the only way the Tornic 2 can die is to starve to death, so once it finds a house to attack, there is nothing that can be done to stop it. Oh. Hang on. It's now giving me the ability to sprint. Another one out there. Mum? I can't. I can't. Mom. 
What do you want from me? Fucking hell. Alright, get me off this game. That was Tornic 2. That was very good. I like that. Um, yeah, it fucking ate my mum and cut her face off. So, pretty grim. Simple, but I liked it very much. So, let's go on to the last game. Okay, this one is called Uploaded, and I think I remember the description. Oh, that keyboard looks like mine. Uh, I think the description says something about you are a YouTuber very meta and you're struggling to upload a video or something might be chatting absolute shit but I think I am just in my bedroom Minecraft pick I don't relate to that personally but yeah uh, I think that's the premise of the game so I don't know hell is empty all the devils are here it's a bit depressing not all bad me 20 past 2 in the afternoon 2nd of Feb Oh, that's today's date. That's cool. Seems like I've been falling asleep for a long time. That's fun. Hold LMB to close eyes. Press E to go back to sleep and I don't hold that one. Does it? Why would I want to? Ah, it's Poppy's Playtime. That's fun. And there's a PC. Mine doesn't look exactly like that, but it's too far off. Fair play. That's cool. Uh, eat a sit. F to wake the PC. I don't really know why I need to close my eyes, but we'll go with it. Upload settings. Why does it take so long to upload? Rescue to stand up. Unlisted PlayStation. Pale Station jump scare compilation. If you can't see them, they can't see you. What? I don't understand. What we got up there? Some religious stuff. I don't know where to look. Who's there? can't see them, they can't see you. Do I go back to sleep? Oh, I'm gonna go back to sleep. I... I've gone back to sleep. I don't know if that was the right thing or not. Fuck being played in a horror game. I just want to sleep. <laughs> and he slept once more. Oh no, have I failed? Yeah. Legend says he's still sleeping to this day. All right, let me... Let me play again. That was a good game. It is on my channel, if you haven't seen me play it. I did play that Poppy's Playtime. It's a bit weird. I'm sitting at my desk looking at my computer, and I'm playing a game of someone sitting at their desk on the computer. Very strange. I don't want to look. Okay. As long as I don't see them, right? They can't see me. What is this upload time? It's not even moving. My curtains are shut, right? So what's the what's the worry? I don't get it. Am I meant to be doing something? Who moved my doll?
Ooh, I don't like that. How's my upload doing? It's still the same. Sort your shit and that out, mate. I'm just getting the wardrobe and just end this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're moving, we're moving. Of course you would stop there. I can't, I can't look left or right. I can't get up. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Oh, that is it. <laughs> so stupid. Did I do it? I'm assuming I did it. It never uploaded, but what better number for it to end on? There you go, that was uploaded. Um, yeah, it's fun. It, it made me jump, uh, and I like games that take the piss out of themselves, so that was good. Legend says he's still uploading the video to this day. They can take a while to upload, to be fair, and I've got pretty decent internet, but anyway, I'm not going to complain. That is my three scary games for today. Uh, first one was a bit more of a teaser, so two and a half scary games, but that that title isn't as uh, catchy. So yeah, if you enjoyed any of the games, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm always happy to hear from any of you, and I'll see you in the next video that I upload. Thanks.